Howdy everybody, Big Fat Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays, Planescape Torment, requested by Bormac. When we last left off, we entered uh, Fel's Tattoo Parlor here, and Anna, our new uh, party member, got a little worried, because being that Fel is not a official Davis, Davis anymore, she's afraid of pissing off the Lady of Pain, which I would be more than willing to fight. In fact, hopefully, at some point in this whole damn freaking walkthrough, I get to fight her. And I want to take her down with Pegger 5. But anyway, um, I took the liberty of m messing up my um, inventory just a bit. I I'm going to sell these to a... No, I should just get that to her, too. Bloody teardrop, what the hell is this? Oh, I need to identify that, but I'm out of identifying abilities. Huh. I need to become a fighter again. I also got a lot of crap in my infantry. Oh, thieves. Does that mean you? Why, well, yes, it does. You have chain teeth earrings. Okay, you'll wear these, which will add to your stealth good loss. It's always good. I also gave her the uh, punch daggers of Morn and the enchanted punch daggers, which she can dual wield, because she's awesome like that. And, uh, I also got the, uh, Tattoo of Lost Incarnation. It was one of the, uh, tattoos on the arm. Which, uh, I'll put on, because it increases my, uh, regeneration rate, which is always good. Also, we will use it. Which means we can now level up. It's a free level up, basically, which I'm going to use, because, well... Oh, look, one characteristic point has gained. That's always good. Uh, don't know where I would put that, I guess. If I get, if I can mess with it. Um, we get one intelligence gained from specialization boss. And we get three hit points and uh, the ability to measure our spells. Ooh. Don't you just love that, that bonus there? And guess where that point's going. Boom. Nineteen wisdom. Now, let me... Your wisdom support, surpasses that of mortal men. You gain a substantial bonus to all earned experience. Which we want. We want to level up like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Intelligence increased permanently. That's always good. That's always good. Now... Let's all go outside here. Because I definitely don't have the mic to get to any of the other ones. Though I do plan on coming back to those at some point. We are also now going to talk <sighs> to uh, Dakon there. There are things I would know, Dakon. And no, this ain't going to be another uh, knowing episode. This is going to be... Let's see, where, where, where am I supposed to ask? Ask him about the travels, Caesars. Tell him about the other me, the incarnation. What was he like? Takan ga gaze travels through you. And then he falls sound. Uh, Takan. Did my journal. Know that he was different. Know that the differences were not marked on the skin, nor in the way of the weapon, nor in the attire that cloaked him. Know that he was different in the way of thought, and the means he acted upon his thoughts. His will became substance. Know that he saw others and did not see them. He knew only how to see how they could serve him. His heart was treacherous, and it was cold, and never did it its coldness burn him. Did it ever? Did it ever touch you, to God? Did he ever betray you? Khan's blade begins bleeding into a dull flat, flat blade, and you watch his edges like teeth begin sprouting from the edge of the blade. His face clenches and he speaks through his teeth. It is not my will that you know of this. Oh. Oh. I guess, tell me, Dakon, did he ever betray you? I surrendered my word to him. I surrendered myself. What are you talking about? The people do not allow themselves to be enslaved to another in deed or chains. If we find ourselves in such a cage, we act to free ourselves. 
Even if it means we must endure another cage for a time. You performed a great service for me. In doing so, you enslaved me. I act to free myself. Know that I surrendered my word and myself to act in your name until your death. But I can't die. That was not known to this one. I surrendered my word to him. I surrendered myself. Know that there is now nothing left that I may surrender except my life. Know that I follow you only so I might die. Um, now let's see. Let's see, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, I could be an ass for number four. What about number two? Dakan doesn't have to be that way. I can release you. I no longer wish to be a slave to serious debt paid. No, Dakan's forehead creases in pain and his eyes stare through you. It is not your word that carries the weight, and your word will not free me. The word that chains me is mine. The torment is mine. I know in my heart the chains remain. Words will not free them. Is there any way you can be freed? You must die a final death. Yet your path is not death's path. There is no resolution in this matter. Val, I swear I will find what Takan. I'll find a way to set you free. Updated my journal. Takan's voice becomes ragged. It is only suddenly becomes sick. Know that you've added other words to my words. His expression is pain, his gaze meets yours. Now you have chained us both. I see there's other things I wish to do. Better travels. Oh, okay. Okay, I may have just pissed the con off, but hopefully I didn't. When Phil was describing a tattoo arm, you said you knew the symbols. Symbols speak of four you have traveled in the past. Uh, what four Updated are these? My journal. Tattoo speaks of four minds. Okay, we know about this one. Let's see, why did you not want to tell me this? The four are bound with a symbol that is known to me. Yeah, what symbol? Symbol is torment, yes. Can you tell me anything about the four? The woman was young. She worshipped time, for in her blood she knew of things to come. The archer was a blind man, and he could, all, he could see things that no other one could see. The path of his arrows always led to the heart of an enemy. The familiar I know little of. See things to come. The woman's name wasn't Dianera. Updated was it? my journal. No, the Dianera was the name she carried. What do you know of the archer? I know little of him. I know he was a soldier. I know that alcohol had taken a portion of his life. In blindness he had come to know a different sight. In knowing this he had become strong. Yet he, had, yet he did not know his own strength. Uh, do you know what his name was? Before the con to respond, you suddenly know the answer. There's a crawling sensation in the back of your skull, and you feel the name surfacing as if from beneath a great muddy ocean. Echo. His name was Zachariah. Ooh, I like that spelling. He was blind, but in blindness he had gained a second sight to allow him to see things hidden to others. He was an archer. Where his arrows flew, they found the hearts of their targets. Updated my journal. No, that Zachariah was the name he carried, and know that his name pierced the heart of many enemies. Okay, that gives me a bit of experience, or a lot, 3,000 experience, that's always, that's always grand, uh, alright, let's move on to Khan, I, alignment's changed, why is my alignment changed? Lawful good, hell to that, fuck yeah, <laughs> I have helped I, th I think, I think, let me see, his, his alignment is now lawful neutral. Okay. But I just, hel I just helped him, I think, because I think he's like, you've chained us both. I'm like, we're chained both, man, but I'm going to make sure I help you ass. But now we have to go to the place where everything started at all. 
And now here we are at the mortuary where everything started it all. And uh, let's see. Okay, we gotta talk to the gate card here. See, a pale face dust man standing guard at the front gate. Staring off across the city rooftops with this one's Reggie, bro. She tries to face uh, yes? I had some questions. Now let's wait. I like to enter. I mean, what is your purpose within the mortuary? I'm here to pay, res pay my respects to Dan and the woman in the Northwest Memorial Hall. Very well, follow me. Takes us straight there, which is always good. Which is. Very, very good, actually. Uh, did I re? Yes. That's, that's when I. Yes. Um. Okay. Where the hell? I'm gone. Okay, Dianera, where the frick are you? Um. Let's see. Uh, where the hell is it? Oh, second floor. Okay, let's go to the second floor here. Damn, you out. Head second floor. And now we can use Story's Bones Tell on many of the dead, if there's any left. Because I kind of did leave here. Wrecking the living hell out of everything. I'd be very surprised if there's any frickin' undead left. Okay, uh, I had to, uh, evade that motherfucker. Done. myself to lose out on some valuable fracking experience, because I'm an idiot. Oh, well, well you know, nothing for it. So we can't do anything here with that. The only thing we gotta talk to is, uh, Dianara here. Which we will do next time on the Big Man Plays Planescape Torment. Till then, it's Big Fatty Plus, Sayonara, and... The game, the walkthrough should have, war should have warned, you know, should have been written for someone like me. Who is an idiot, who is a complete total utter rube, 
who will walk into a place and murder everything he sees because why the frick not? <laughs>